I got the truck and the trailer parked there. I'm gonna hike down the hill, go pick up the tractor, the excavator. Very first time using this thing. Uh, let's see here. Oh, that, oh, that's not the right way to do that. <laughs> All right, here I am. I'm gonna turn this thing on. Low plug and woohoo! Push this down. I think this goes. Oh, <laughs> this goes up like this. Oh, look at that! That goes that way. And then what does this do? Ah, that comes in. This goes up more, I guess. I don't know. I don't know what to do here. I think I'm just gonna drive it like this. And then, swiveling. Ah! Oh, I gotta pull the blade up. And now I just... I think I should use two hands for this part. I got the Komatsu up here, up the hill. And now I'm gonna, for the very, very first time, I'm gonna grab stuff, throw it in the dump trailer. We'll see, let's see what time it is. 11.04, we'll see what, how long it takes to fill this thing up. Today is day two of working with the excavator and the dump trailer, and I've learned a lot. We have had record-breaking rainfall here in the Pacific Northwest, which is saying a lot. So this is a gorgeous, absolutely amazing site, um, but you can see there's a ton of cleanup work to do. So this guy's been amazing. The dump trailer is really cool. I'm still figuring out how to use the two together. Today's day two with the, with the excavator. But you can see it has a thumb on it and it basically just picks stuff up, puts it in there. And the real tricky part is the fact that it's so muddy. Um, you know, this truck has been great through here. I've had it slip a few times, but I don't know if you can see, I'm creating an absolute mess right there so and anywhere where the truck goes 
So anyways, um, this has been a learning experience today. Day two has just been all about learning how to most efficiently use the excavator and the dump trailer together. I think if I, so you can, I don't know if you can see right here, there are these like brackets and I can put two by fours in here to build this up taller. If I build this up taller, theoretically, I should be able to, whoa, <laughs> stack more stuff up high. Now I have this kind of messy problem. At first I thought I would put the excavator next to the dump trailer. That way the logs are going this way. The problem with that is that I get into these like real muddy swampy areas and I've got to get somehow I got to fit the trailer in here so um, yeah I don't really know how to still working on that <laughs> but yeah it's a gorgeous day today it's not raining but over the last three or four days it's been raining a lot so I'm gonna go do another dump run uh, this will be the third dump run of today and that is about it for what I've learned. Oh, and I got the excavator stuck. <laughs> so it took a little while to get the excavator out of the mud, but I got it. And it's all about how to use the front blade and even the arm to kind of like push your way out of something. So you have to be really good about like, how do you extend and flip the you know, bucket all at the same time while trying to go backwards. You basically have to do three or four things at once. So I'm back at the RV park. I think that I will be more successful and more efficient if I build a wall around this dump trailer. It'll give me more capacity. So I went to Home Depot, I bought the materials, I went online to see how to build one of these things and there's not a lot of information. So I'm gonna do a little bit of a tutorial. Um, I don't really know what I'm doing, but I'm just gonna kind of figure it out. They've got these little brackets for two by fours. Uh, so I bought a bunch of hardware. Who knows if I got the right stuff. I have drill bits, but I don't know if they're gonna be the right size. So we're gonna kind of make it up as we go. So we have 11 and a half, so two by 12s, which is 11 and a half inches. And we have two of those. So 11 and a half plus 11 and a half is 23 inches. I'm gonna do a one and a half inch gap. So two one and a half inch gaps, so that's three inches. So 23 plus three is 26 inches. So I'll measure this two by four, 26 inches. And I'll put it right here. We'll see if I need some screws or not. What did I say, 26 inches? Yeah. Theoretically, this should just fit right in here. Cool. Except it fits a little too good. So it goes down and hits that. So looks like I will need to kind of screw some holes in here uh, and attach this. <laughs> I saw that happening. It was slowly inching. 
was it? Yeah. <laughs> So I just drilled two holes here through the metal and I drilled two holes through here in the wood. I have 3 8 by 2 inch lag screws that I'm going to put in there with some washers. Um, again this might be overkill but I don't know, it looked like the right thing. So now I'm gonna do this all the way around and then I'll put my boards up. All right, I got three of these on each side. The next step is to put them here but I have this uh, tarp rolling mechanism. So I gotta take this off. When I build this up again, I'll put it back up there. Ran out of daylight last night, so it's the morning and I have all the vertical pieces set up and now I'm going to start running the horizontal pieces uh, around. So you can see that there's just a little tiny bit to cut at the end and I think it's kind of ridiculous to cut that so I'm just going to let it overlap. Not a big deal. This is not intended to be the finest work of craftsmanship. This is a dump trailer. I'm gonna put a one and a half inch gap down here um, just to give it like some airflow because otherwise it, it's like a big wind sail. I want I want some air movement through here. This is all gonna be for wood branches and sticks uh, so I'm not worried about having like dirt filled up that high. Detail. This guy lifts open right here for the uh, dump spreading so I've given it just a little bit of room so it can open up so make sure you don't come up too close to this kind of each dump trailer is a little different but this one has like a little hinge here so you want to stay away from that I had a real hard time getting these perfectly perpendicular so what I'm gonna do before I screw these in. You can see I got this one nice. So I'm gonna start with this and I'm gonna measure from the bottom and I measure from the top and make sure those are the same. And that'll make sure that they're perpendicular to each other, or I'm sorry, parallel and perpendicular to this. I realize as I put this board up that I miscalculated. This, instead of being 26 inches, should have been like 28 inches but because I'm gonna have a one and a half inch gap but I can still attach the board here it's just gonna stick up a little bit Sidewalls are done, uh, and now I've got to do this kind of back wall area. So this is six feet wide. I have a 12 foot board, so if I cut it in half, I should be good to go. This is why you measure. It's 12 foot three eighths inch. So half of three eighths. So it's six foot and half of three eighths. That's three sixteenths.
Now, some of you might be wondering, why didn't I use pressure treated wood? But from the research I've done, these things get banged up pretty good with an excavator. So they're probably gonna be destroyed quicker, sooner than any rot might rot them away. So here it is, we're gonna give it a shot. This whole thing cost me $150 but I've basically doubled my capacity in the trailer. So I think that's a good investment. I almost forgot I need to put the tarp back on. All right, here's the finished product. Built up sides. Again, this cost about $150. Took me a couple hours yesterday less than an hour today so say two or three hours max and now I've doubled my capacity so anxious to see how it works a little tricky to get the uh, tarp on the top I didn't have all the right it was a little weird so I made it work we'll see how long it lasts <laughs> 